Yes. What's up, guys? Damien here to tell you about what's hot this week. And holy crap, no, it is not Modern Warfare 3. Most of you may have thought it would have been, but I went with a little bit of a different route this time. It's the shoe-in for the game of the year. This is Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. And because this is such a huge title, and it's been about four years, I think, since the last time they made one, I brought in a little bit of help. I've got the content manager for Yaush Alliance, Cobra Wolf. What's going on, man? Not much, man. How's it going? I'm hanging in there. It's just been a busy, busy, busy week. Yeah, I hear that with all the <laughs> uh, all the titles and stuff. Everybody's got too much to play. Yeah, something like that, definitely. So you went ahead and you got a little bit of gameplay ready for us today. Let's talk about some of the first impressions that you thought of the game. Um, basically, what was the thing you were looking forward most to? And did it meet your expectations and what surprised you? Well, you know, being a big fan of the series anyway, from day one, I'd have to say that every year Bethesda continuously raises the bar with their games. I hate that cliche so much, but they really do raise the level of what is an open world game and what is an open world RPG. And then the next thing that they always do is these blisteringly amazing graphics. So right off the bat, that's the first thing I always look for because you walk through the intro, which is usually part of the game. There's no cinematics. It's all in-game footage. The first 15 minutes of the game suck you in to the beauty of the game, the detail, the richness, the amazing um, time and effort that you can see they put into this. And within the first 15 minutes, it's like a great movie. You're hooked. That is the hook. That is the time that you say, I'm going to keep playing this for another 300 hours and I'm not going to mind. So that's probably my biggest, you know, my, my biggest anticipation was seeing what that first 15 minutes, how is it going to grab me into the game like the last two did? And it did. It sucked you right in. It, it pretty much, you know, the first 10 minutes just grabbed you into the game. Um, I'd say the biggest part of this game that I've seen so far is the controls and the way the interface was done from the last few games, especially basing it off of Oblivion. They completely changed it. I think they actually listened this time to everybody that complained about how the graphics were kind of choppy, especially when you were in third-person mode, which were horrible, and <laughs> the way the controls were kind of laid out. So that was one of the first things I did afterwards was I went out into third-person mode. It was awesome. They actually made animations in the character, and you know they didn't just look good from looking at other people. You can definitely see that they put a lot of time and effort into making a big change in the the animations of your character um, the controls are completely different too it actually feels like it's built around a game controller and not a mouse and a keyboard so I bought it for the PC mm -hmm. but it in the options one of the options for it is 360 controller so and when you're going through it, you're not really using the mouse and the keyboard to navigate through all the menu tabs which will be great for the console guys who got Oblivion, but didn't really get Oblivion. Yeah. It was really hard when you kind of port that game when every key on the keyboard is used. So that was a really big step for me, and I think that's going to open it up for a lot of people in the console market as well, which is really nice. Absolutely. And one of the things that you mainly touched on, you said, you know, it's going to be over 300 hours. And that was one of the things that shocked me was, you know, 300 plus hours of playtime. They stopped counting. At 300 hours they just completely stopped the guide for this game was over 600 pages alone um, and you're talking about the graphics and how they're so much improved and it's a beautiful beautiful game it's the uh, they did a new um, a new game engine for this game I believe it was the creative 2 is what they mm -hmm. called it is that right does that sound familiar yeah I'm pretty sure that was the engine and they what they wanted to do with that is make sure that when you put it on an Xbox put it on a PlayStation put it on a computer the differences in graphics were negligible and by that, it was kind of like id's idea and vision with Rage. 60 frames per second, constant per system. Yeah. And, you so, know, that, that engine, they managed to fit all this information on the one disc, which was really impressed me, you know, because I opened up a game and looked at it. And I'm like, this is only one disc? How are you going to fit 300 hours on an Xbox disc, disc you know? <laughs> so <laughs> and that definitely surprised me. So overall, you know, they're, they're talking about this game. It's this game versus the Legend of Zelda's Skyward Sword, which is due to come out November 20th for Game of the Year. 
that is the that is the quote unquote battle. I'm thinking it's going to be Skyrim, uh, not to be bipartial because I, I just really feel that the work that has gone into the game uh, makes it deserving, and the fact that it's competing with Modern Warfare 3 as far as sales go um, is uh, you know astonishing. So what do you think? You think it's the shoe in for the game of the year? I think so. I, I think on graphics, technology wise. Um, just the the game itself, the interactions of the characters, you know, if this was uh, if this was slightly less, I'd say Modern Warfare Three pretty much would have it, maybe Zelda, but they really did an amazing job, and the differences from the last one, I'd have to say this is going to take it. All right, man. Well, you guys heard it here on Yoush from the Yoush Content Manager and myself. That is why Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is what's hot this week. Join me next week and find out what we got going on. We'll catch you later. This is Demon, and for Cobra Wolf, we're out. Peace. Yoush.